and welcome to uh, my dining room today. Not the corner of my workroom, but my dining room. It's a little bit brighter today, so I thought it would be better to do this demonstration in here. Today I'm going to show you how to wrap a round tin. Because we all buy these for Christmas presents and birthday presents with chocolates in and um, deodorants and smellies and things like that. And then we all panic about how we're going to wrap them. So for this technique, we need the tin, some scissors, a little decoration for the top of the tin, and then some paper. So, first of all, we need the paper. So I'm going to just spread this paper out on the table, just hold it in place with the corner of my scissors, and then take the tin, and I would imagine that most people would then put the tin down and try and work out how you're going to get this square piece of paper around the round tin. Well, the first trick is to pop the tin on its end. Okay. And then we need enough paper to go around the tin with about um, two centimetres or an inch overlap at the top here. Can you see that? Okay. And then we need enough paper to go halfway up the tin at the front and then as we shuffle it round, halfway up the tin at the back. Because the technique we're going to do is we're going to pleat. So if you can see this here, we're going to pleat everything into the centre. Okay, so tin on its end, mm. wrap the paper around, and then we're going to seal the paper in place with some sellotape. Well, that's the other thing you need, a piece of sellotape. Now, before you actually seal the paper, here's where the paper meets at the top. We're going to make sure that these edges are lined up, okay, nice and even. If you put a step in your paper, so it looks like this and it doesn't meet up, it's got a step in it, then the technique won't work. So make sure that you've got your paper nicely lined up, the sides and then just about an inch of sellotape, that's all you need, don't go mad. Nice and tight round, put your sellotape on and there we go, we sealed the tape. Then just make sure that you've got equal amounts of paper at the front and the back and it goes to the centre at both sides, which mine does. So it might be slightly over one end, so I just push it along and then double check. Yep, yeah, exactly right. Now then, normally I would do this stood up, but I'm going to do it sat down today just so you can show you how to do the technique. Now I'm going to do the top first, so I'm just going to fold in the bottom here. Now don't worry that this is all scruffy and then I'm going to have to sit the tin down and again don't worry, that squashed all that paper because it's going to be pleated. You don't actually worry about that because it, the pleats will disguise any creases and things. So, now like I said, normally I would stand up and do this from the top, but because you can't see that, I'm going to turn it on its end and I'm going to do it this way. Okay, so you see where the two pieces of paper meet here. We have an inside bit and an outside bit. Okay, so we're going to take the inside bit and bend it in. Okay, as I bend it in, the corner here is the bit that's the important bit, this corner here. That must be in the centre of the tin, so we need to move it across to the centre. Can you see how I did that? I just moved it across to the centre. And then I'm going to put my index finger on it. As I move it to the centre then, my paper starts to bend. Okay, and you can see immediately here, it's trying to create its own pleat. So, what I do is I just take a pinch of the paper and move it to that centre and put it underneath that finger, okay? Exactly the same again, do it again, underneath that finger, okay? And again, okay, underneath that finger. You don't have to crease these down, it will naturally do that for you. So I'll just change hands because I'm upside down. Again, underneath the finger in the centre, a little pinch again, pull it reasonably tight, but don't pull too tight as you do this because you'll lose the peg to the back when you need to tin to the front. So keep going all the way around, just taking the pinch of paper and moving it to the centre underneath that finger that's in the centre. And then another piece, okay, swap hands again for me, and again over here into the centre, into the centre into the centre, all the time. You see how the corner's over here? So we're going to be moving it across to the centre and across to the centre, okay? And then we're going to do the final bit then, lift the sellotape 
on that bit in the middle then to hold everything in place. Okay. And then we do the other side. So I'm going to start this one stood up because this is how I normally do it. Okay, so if I just get up from my chair. Again, I'm going to be working with this inside piece. So I bend it in and then move it to the center. Okay. This time I'm going to take the smaller pinches so it looks a little bit neater. So smaller pinches and move it to the centre. Can you see how I'm doing that? Smaller pinches and move it to the centre. Okay. Turn my tin in my spare hand and I keep doing little pinches and moving it to the centre. Okay. Just going to change hands just because I'm on camera. Smaller pinches, small pinch centre, small pinch centre, small pinch centre, all the way around to the very last piece. And then we put a of sort of tape right on the end there to hold everything in place. And that is the bottom of the tin, we'll put two pieces on just to be sure it's all staying where it is. And that's what you've got, a nicely wrapped tin. Okay, the facility tape does pop up like that. Just put a little bit more on just to make sure it holds its place. And then finally, I'm going to decorate this just with a little poinsettia. So it looks like that. So what could be easier than wrapping it in? Okay, if you want, you don't have to use the poinsettia flower at the top. You could make a little fan for the top like this. Okay, a bit something different. Or just a bow and some couple of Christmas baubles would do a fine job as well. Or if you want to do eco-friendly, then this one I've made with a map. I'll just move this out of the way. An old map, some hessian recycled bow, and a little bit of garden foliage. Looks very much the part, don't you think, for either a birthday or for Christmas. Okay, you could also put pine cones on if you like, just to finish it off. Okay, so I hope that's given you some ideas of how you can wrap your things for birthdays and Christmas. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.